If you hadn't heard, the rumor on the railroad is that the Western New York and Pennsylvania announced on March 8th that service was going to be discontinued between Meadville, Pennsylvania and Jamestown, New York on the ex-Erie Main Line. Rumors abound that the railroad is also replacing its classic Alco Power and even the newer GE units and downsizing. New York State has provided over $12 million in grants to the parent company of the WNYMP, the Livonia, Avon, and Lakeville Group for emission-compliant engines. Back in 2016, I spent some time around the WNYMP when I caught this local moving southbound toward the Farmer's Valley branch. Up in Olean, New York, at the railroad's home base, I caught the 406, which was once the Delaware and Hudson's Bicentennial locomotive from 1976. Also there was number 41, which was sold to the Delaware Lackawanna and now resides in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Passing Turtle Point, you might find that the stone traffic from Hall Bakers was non-existent at this point in the year. What stone traffic there will be this year is a big unknown. I got lucky back in 2016 when I caught this loaded Hallbaker stone train blasting northbound out of Driftwood, Pennsylvania. I caught another, much smaller northbound departing the Lock Haven Yard back in 2020 behind a lone ex-Conrail, now Norfolk Southern, EMD SD40-2. In Emporium, it was great to see the Buffalo Yard filled with sand cars and trucks arriving and departing the facility. These days, the Western New York and Pennsylvania has been servicing the Emporium Sand Yard at least two days per week. Also worthy of mention is that Emporium is the location where the spectacular train crash and explosion in the movie Unstoppable was filmed. I also caught number 427 in Emporium, which at the time was being used as a remote control engine. The 427 is a locomotive with a very interesting heritage. It's an Alco C425 built in 1966 and was an Expo Cane Portland and Seattle unit number 326 and then Burlington Northern number 4264 and was even in Spokane Portland and Seattle paint on the WNYMP for a period of time. These days the 427 is painted black with yellow print like much of the road fleet including the big GEs. If these rumors about the WNYMP are true, now is the time to get up get out and go get your pics and videos of the western New York and Pennsylvania between Meadville, Pennsylvania and Jamestown, New York and their current motive power fleet while you still can.